each and everybody good morning good afternoon good evening whatever the case may be i do hope all of you are staying safe or staying healthy and most importantly are enjoying life to the fullest life is great life is short let's stop and smell the roses and yeah let's spread love let's spread kindness let's say no to negativity and no to hate really let's try to be more concerned to be more understanding to be more kind toward our fellow men because at the end of the day we are brothers and sisters we should act like one yes yes okay so guys i'm so excited to do this because yes um i'm so curious really because what we focus on thus far is the um moscow right uh and specifically saint petersburg right and we have not really kind of like, you know, um, seen the entirety of, of Russia and what this country has to offer to the rest of the world. So I'm excited to do this. Thank you guys for, for requesting this when you know who you are. By the way, this is uploaded via Tur Turopia. Um, I do hope they don't mind us reacting to this one. By the way, I will be linking the link of this video as well as the link of Tur Toropia's official YouTube account on the description box below. So please go ahead and, and watch it on the original uploader's account. All right. So, okay. 10 best places to visit in Russia. A travel video. Oh my God. I, I don't know. This is a 13 and 42 seconds video, but I don't mind. I, I love videos like this. So guys, without much delay, are you guys ready for this? Yeah. One, two, three. Let us. so so this Yekaterinburg is like um a city itself um or is it like part of like a province it's, you know it's located in what part of russia if i may say i'm not so sure how to say it because as i've said guys i'm so bad with demographics i'm making, like really bad <laughs> but yeah um that and or how far is it from Moscow? Because apparently that's the like the most well-known place, if I may say. Russia, so how far is it? Or is it within the vicinity or something to that extent? Please do fill me in if you can. So play this.
Supplemented by trendy cocktail bars and pumping nightlife. I love like like everywhere you go, it's flourishing. It's just really you know, it's it goes without saying that slowly and sh but surely we are all like you know trying to really embrace each other's differences and you know trying to immerse ourselves with new new things, that, at least new to 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 a foreigner and yeah, locals as well. I mean. Number six, Nishni Novgorod. Nishni Novgorod. With the Volga and Oka rivers running through it, Nishni Novgorod is most famed for the spectacular hilltop Kremlin looking out over the spot where the two tributaries join. Okay. Although it is understandably the highlight of what is on offer, the city has more than enough to entertain visitors for a couple of days. There are some great museums and, and restaurants for tourists to enjoy, as well as lovely views of the surroundings. From here, you can go on a scenic river cruise mm. to some of the villages and towns oh. nearby. I really want to, like, you know, I really want to see people just, like, going about their daily lives. That's one thing I enjoy most when traveling, because I just want to immerse myself with the locals for real. And have, like, you know, a glimpse of how they live life. I don't know, it's such a, like, a, a nice experience to be able to, to kind of feel what it's like even though you're not living there at least you get the feel oh so like uh, is, is this rugby or <laughs> guys I have no idea is this ice hockey I think it's ice hockey right number five Lake Baikal. Lake Baikal. Many I've travelers heard this on the Trans-Siberian Railway make plans to stop at Lake Baikal the deepest and oldest lake on earth Lake Baikal holds around 20% of the world's fresh water and is considered one of the clearest lakes in the world. Located in Siberia, the 25 million year old lake is surrounded by beautiful oh mountain gosh. ranges. Known as the Pearl of Siberia, Lake Baikal is home to several resorts, making the area a popular vacation destination. That looks wonderful though, oh my goodness. What? That's, I thought for a sec that was like an ocean and it's like river. <clears throat> Wonderful. You know, Mother Nature on its own is really beautiful as well, right? I mean, it doesn't have to do anything in particular, just be there. It's really something that you cannot explain, right? Number four, Kazan. Kazan, Kazan is sometimes referred to as the Istanbul of the Volga because it is a city where European and Asian cultures meet. The capital of Tatarstan is a lovely city where church tower and minarets fill the skyline. Ooh. Also known as the third capital of Russia, after Moscow and St. Petersburg, Kazan residents enjoy one of the highest standards of living in really? Russia. Sights to see include the remains of the Kazan Kremlin that was destroyed by Ivan the Terrible and the Kul Sharif I don't Mosque, understand these named people. after a man defending Kazan from Ivan. Water, my golly. Aww. I don't know, it, it looks so gorgeous. I mean, everything's gorgeous, man. Oh, what are they falling in line for? I mean, to get in? Ooh, that's a lot of people. Uh, oh, there's a concert going on, I see. <laughs> I just love, like, architectural structures like that. Number three, Golden Ring. Okay. The Golden Ring strings together several cities outside of Moscow that fill the senses with awe. 
picturesque countrysides filled with cherry orchards, quaint cottages, onion-shaped domes, and iconic churches that contain the country's oldest art make this region a special place to visit. One of the oldest regions in Russia, today it is very popular with tourists who want to experience a bygone era. Ooh. The traditional way to view the cities and towns makes a counterclockwise loop beginning so and ending in Moscow. So there, here is where I should go. I mean, here is where I should go. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just love, oh my god, I love it, I love it, I love it. Oh wow, okay, how do, uh, uh, okay, can somebody explain it to me? Why is that thing in the center of the road? This one, I mean, what, what are these? And where, I don't understand, maybe it's an old um, building that you guys really have to restore and because of your restoration, everything looks wonderful because of how well you restore some of these um, great places or meaningful places where great events happen, right? Number two, St. Petersburg. <laughs> founded in 1703, St. Petersburg's tumultuous history I has see. seen it change names numerous times. The former capital from which the Tsars once reigned hosted the communist revolution and was later sieged by the Nazis. With a Western European feel to it, elegant palaces and grand cathedrals are abundant oh, in the city. So that's While why. lovely, leafy parks make it a simply beautiful place to wander around. Rivers and canals cut through St. Petersburg, and delightful bridges cross its waterways. Not to be missed is the spectacular art collection at the Hermitage Museum. Oh yeah, it's so great to see it like in you know in in this view and like in this time of the day like it's gorgeous man everything's so massive right And I love how green the, the, the plants are, you know, I, I don't know, it's just so wonderful to look at. This is the line that I was talking about earlier. Oh no, that was a different one, of course. That was a different area. So this is like, oh, I forgot the name of the place. Um, forgot, man. Number one, Moscow. Moscow. As the capital of Russia, <laughs> Moscow is the most important city in Russia, but not just for political reasons alone. This city of more than 12 million is also well known for its artistic endeavors, including ballet, symphonies, and art. Onion-shaped domes of historic churches fill the skyline. The I love the scene of this and one. impressive Red Square, one of the largest yeah. squares in the world, are sites not to be Ooh. missed as are statues of Lenin and Stalin, controversial leaders in the 20th century. Further evidence that Moscow's past that wasn't building. always squeaky clean can be seen in the Gulag and Cold War museums. Ooh. Okay, so, hmm, well, how should I put this? I think I should go to St. Petersburg first and foremost. <laughs> I'm planning my, my vacation already, okay? But hey, maybe, you know, I need to see more videos to, to fully encapsulate what what you guys have to offer, right? So I'll, I'll, I'll stop myself from making, like, you know, decision as early as now. Who knows? I might be able to travel there soon, guys. Come on. It's gorgeous. Everything like, um, wow. So shout out to Toropia, guys. That was, that was a great video, really. And yes, although I'm like so excited really to really find out where should I go? Where should I go? Because I don't even have a, a date <laughs> as to when I'll visit your country, yes. But then know for sure that it's on my bucket list and... Uh, 
I'll try my best to be able to fly there the soon as possible time. But yes, as of the moment, let's gather some infos. Let's gather some, you know, um, inspirations. Let's gather these videos and see for ourselves where do I really want to go. I mean, all of the places, don't get me wrong, all of those places that were mentioned were wonderful, okay? But then I know that we cannot just go everywhere and anywhere, <laughs> you know, when you travel because that's 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 impossible because of the limited resources that we have <laughs> that i have really and yeah um so i am not really i can i'm not really like a a a province type of like uh, what do you call this i'm not really like a laid back super laid back type of person but at the same time I don't really want also to be in like the center of all of whatever chaos is going on. I love a mixture of both things, you know, where I can find relaxation or where I can find like places to really that's busy with all the people and all that. I want the mixture of both. I don't know if such thing exists, but I do feel that there is such a thing. I just want to be able to to have these contrasts and you know, if if days if there are days that you feel like laying low you can go this way and if there's times where you want to go like you know be be partying and stuff you can go to this way place and that um a city a place where both of the these um aspects these characteristics um have to offer you know and you know what regardless the mere fact that i'll be able to travel there is it's is in fact already a dream come true so i can't wait for that day to come so yeah let's keep our fingers crossed or i'll keep my fingers crossed and hopefully soon i'd be able to but for the meantime yes i appreciate all the videos that you guys have been sharing since the start and let's continuously do this guys please tell me what should i be reacting next tell me those videos that really shows me the nitty-gritty and the you know the minute details of your country and stuff i'd love to see those i'd love to see and by what by the way all of your recommendations are thus far fabulous so i know whatever you're going to recommend me is going to be fantastic okay so keep it coming guys so yeah with that i hope you did enjoy this as much as i did and i do hope to see you all next time until then you guys take care <laughs>